Hello everyone, and welcome back to our Champions of Meandir gameplay video series. I'm Alvin, the designer and game director for Champions, and I'm here with George and Zach. This game will be another three-way free-for-all. There's been a bit of a shake-up to people's schedule as of late, so we're trying to find new times to record and also new players to join us to fill in when others can't make it. So if you're interested in joining us, feel free to reach out in the comments and we'll see if we can't set something up. If you're new here and you'd like to learn how to play this game, check out our Learn to Play Champions of Meandir video playlist, which will give you everything you need to get started. Link to it will be in the video description. Let's go ahead and introduce our decks today, starting with George. Hey everyone, back again with Emerald Dreams. It's a very political, stanted, uh, slanted deck that has a, quite a few uh, win conditions that I think I, I'm interested in seeing like if I can eke out something against our game master and our new friend uh, Zach here today. Awesome. All right, Zach, go ahead and introduce your deck. My deck. So I'm playing Nile with a deck called Swag. Little known fact, Nile is single-handedly responsible for the closing of almost every shopping mall on the eastern side of the United States. He buys every cool-looking item he can at great bargains, and he's looking to piece together a win with whatever junk he has in his back pocket. Wow. That's what I'm doing. So cool. like that. And finally, we have me playing Ava, Unwavering Optimist. My deck is all about decreasing health, and because I'm playing Ava, each one of my denizens that sticks around, despite having their health decreased, will score me a ton of points. Alright, intros are done, mulligans have been complete, let's begin the game. We ballin'. Do, 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 do. <laughs> so I'm going first. I'm gonna start by dropping a Kalnea. Perfect oh. time to play it on turn one. So oh, everybody will draw a card, and everybody's aligned to every type, but because I'm going first, I'm the only one that benefits from the card draw. So my second play, I'll play a Greedy Merchant, and then I will take my free draw for turn, and I will pass. All right, I'll go ahead and begin my turn in one gold. Uh, I will play this card here, the Hidden Flower Patch. I'll go ahead and use my free draw. Nice card, nice card. Yeah, and then I'll go ahead and spend one gold to put a search counter on this Hidden Flower Patch, and that'll be it for me. Pass. Okay, I would like to start things off with me playing my Hidden Thicket and putting a search counter on that. Free draw. And I guess that's me passing my turn. Baller. I'm going to start my turn. I'm going to drop a familiar road, naming white. I am going to pay two gold for a royal treasurer. I'm going to take my free draw, and I'm going to... Um, let's see here. I don't have any way of knowing if any of you really play hostile punishers. <laughs> Only one uh, way to find out. Uh, yeah, I'm going to pass my turn. I'm going to be smart. <laughs> <laughs> Better safe than sorry, I guess. Get my gold for Yeah, turn. why not? I'll use my gold to play this card here, Refuse Defeat. And then I'll go ahead and use my free draw. Refuse I'll play defeat. this location here, using its arrival ability to look at the top card. Ooh, I'll keep that on top. Very nice. And then I'll go ahead and abandon this to draw that card. And then I'll pass it over to you, George. Never want your opponent to say very nice. You always <laughs> want awe. Oh, or <laughs> yeah. some, like, guttural groan, you know? <laughs> yeah, true, true that, true that. So I'm on my turn. Let's get started with a uh, statue of the beloved queen. And I will summon beloved celebrity to eat up my last two gold. Ooh. Draw my free okay. card. All right. And then I see you're using the arrival on your beloved celebrity. Absolutely. And I think that's all I can do for my current turn. Pretty cool. Right. Beloved celebrity, huh? Mm. All right. I'm going to start by jamming a Desire to Live on my Royal Treasure. Oh, okay. Oh, there's a lot of purple going on today. Pop off the Synergy ability. Mm -hmm. I'm going to... Watch out for the Synergy, Al. <laughs> drop. Short Sword. Ooh, okay. Nice. So, green doesn't have a ton of uh, hostile punishers, does it? Uh, every alignment has at least one hostile punishing card. I think I'm just gonna I'm just gonna chill here. I'm just gonna chill. I'm gonna pass my turn. All right, <laughs> cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and play Yumi, the avid painter, and then I'm gonna go ahead and use my oh free play. And then I'll have refuse defeat put its ability onto Yumi, making her nice and safe. And that's all I'll do for this turn. Pass. Nice, nice, very smart. 
Okay, let's first summon a noxious name caller. And I too will you put into play refuse defeat. All right. So many refuse defeat. Pass. Cool. I'm gonna start by taking a free draw. I'm gonna play an adventurer's journal. Nice. I'm cool. going to immediately use its ability to fetch a non-unique location card. Um. Very nice. I'm gonna grab a statue of the good king. Good choice. I will play that, plopping the health bonus onto my greedy merchant. That triggers synergy, correct? It unlocks synergy, that's correct. Awesome. All right, we're living large today. Yeah. I'm going to sell off Adventure's Journal yep. for three more Five. gold. So cool. I'm going to play a crackdown on crime oh, and then no. my own refuse defeat. Oh, wow. Oh, Incredible. no. Incredible. This is the perfect we're card doing the against thing. us right now. We're doing the nice. thing. Yeah. Oh, we're doing and the then... thing. Boy. Yep. I will yep. be passing my turn. Mm. Boy, oh boy, mm. oh boy. Prepare. All right. Prepare. There are three refused defeats, and I have a feeling these are not the only ones. <sighs> All right. So if I reduce this guy's health to one, will you use obnoxious, obnoxious name caller on it? I'm going to. That was. The, that's. He's first dead. He's first. Like All right. that was the reason why I held back on the inspiration. In that case. Rather than attacking into it with Yumi, I'm gonna attack Yumi into this instead. So Yumi's gonna deal one damage to the greedy merchant. She's gonna lose one health, but because she's refusing defeat, she will not be removed. Will do. And she becomes hostile in the process. Then I'm gonna use my hidden flower patch, putting a search counter on it to go up to five gold. And then I will play Ava, Unwavering Optimist. Oh, here she comes. And then I'm going to play Schedule Book. And then I'm going to go ahead and sell my schedule book to play Supportive Friends. Uh, now I can go ahead and activate Yumi. And then I'm going to put the Refuse Defeat ability on Supportive Friends, completing that campaign. Of course. And then now I will end my turn and Ava is going to see Yumi, who has less than her starting health, and score me four points. All right, and I'll pass it over nice. to you, George. Okay, so we're on turn four, four gold. Add a counter to my refused defeat. Man, there are no quitters at this table today. No mm -hmm. quitters. Let's draw a free card. Okay. Play card. Abandon. Draw another card. Put hidden flower patch down. I too put supportive friends into play. Wow. Man, there's a lot of friends here. Yes. Okay. And then I put a gold here. Gives me two gold. So I can now summon Master Craftsman. Interesting. All right. And Inspiration is now unlocked. I use my Inspiration and 1-1 one, one, your greedy merchant, Zach. Yep. Fella is gone. And my Refuse Defeat goes to my beloved celebrity. Fetch an, uh, my Inspiration is activated for even Master Craftsman. Does that mean I can fetch a non-unique item card? That's correct. In my deck. Okay. Let's view deck. Fetch Black Mora Powder. And I think that's everything I can do, and I pass my turn. Okay, I'm going to start my turn by activating the Crackdown on Crime on Yumi. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm Fair going enough. to drop Niall. It's time for Niall. The man himself. Oh, boy. Niall is going to use his ability on the Royal Treasurer. Good choice. Um, synergy will trigger. I'm going to take my free draw for turn. I'm going to abandon this location. I'm going to play a master craftsman of my own. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have refuse defeat happen on the craftsman. Oh boy. I'm going to sell my short sword so I can play another short sword. <laughs> and that will trigger inspiration. Inspiration is now unlocked. Fetch a item of my choice, which is pretty exciting. His loop is unlocked. Yes, very, the very cool. The loop has been unlocked. I'm going to reveal a triumphant banner, shuffling my deck. I'm going to have royal treasurers attack your obnoxious name caller. Smart. Very, very wise. That's all I can do. Pass. All right. This is shaping up to be a very interesting game. So I'll gain my goal for turn, draw a card. All right. First things first, I'm going to play obstructive roadblock, selecting your hidden flower patch, George. Oh, wow. And then next, I'm going to play Obnoxious Name Caller. Oh no! Another one, huh? Then I'm going to play 
Alluring Seductress. So this is my third card. So that unlocks inspiration. I'm going to go ahead and use his inspiration on your supportive friends to make it oh, a 1-1. No. And then I'm going to oh, go ahead and... you're and... going to use her... That's right. I'm going to go to ahead and use Alluring Seductress to take it. Oh, you... and now they're on your top side. I'll go ahead and sell this now. It was a short-lived roadblock to get one gold. And then I'll spend that gold to activate the supportive friends that I just stole. Uh, and then I'll have these supportive friends attack into Crazy. your Master Craftsman, dealing two damage to it. And turn wow. it hostile. And then I'll go ahead and end my turn. When I end my turn, I score four plus two points. Zooey Mama. <laughs> Pass. Wow. Very well played. Okay, so I'm at five gold. Hidden Thicket has served its purpose. I still have alignment for everything. So I'm going to sack it, draw a card from it, play Mufari. There he is, courtesy of Kelnea, City of the Light. You don't have to pay alignment tax. And I have still have refused defeat, so I'm going to give Mufari refused defeat. Mm -hmm. I will give Zach the Mufari's quarry. Yeah, okay. And I put Blackmore Powder in play. Yeah, I think everything's re... Did I... Oh, I haven't done a free draw. And I believe that's my turn. Okay. All right, so when no, you begin your turn, you're going to score four points. Will do. Not going to complain about that. So I have a rules question for you. Yes, sir. So this Mufari's quarry is currently immune, meaning effects can't put it into a different zone, deal damage to it, or decrease its power or health. Mm -hmm. If I were to put refuse defeats ability on it would it be effectively immortal <laughs> um not quite because black moral powder could still remove it but yeah it would be very strong it'd be very hard to get rid of it i think i am actually gonna do just that i'm gonna refuse defeat on mufari's quarry okay now the only way to remove it is to use black moral powder on it and then attack into it Ooh, what a nightmare yep so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have Crackdown on Crime banish this version of Supporting Friends. Ah, fair enough. To the bottom of my deck it goes. So this will go away. All right, I'm about to do something a little goofy. Let's see if it works. So I'm oh. going to play Black Mora Powder. <laughs> oh! I'm going to have Black Mora it, Powder go he was on ready Ava. For it. Ah, okay. On the champion! Yep. And now I'm going to do something really mean. I'm going to play Desire to Live, making Ava unable to be destroyed. That is so cool. Having zero health. Okay, so so Aggressive. for the viewers at home, like what's just happened is Ava has lost all her abilities, meaning she can't score me points. And Zack has put Refuse Defeat's ability on her. So now she can't be removed by having zero health. So she's essentially sitting here and being a very, very useless 1-1 one, one denizen. Very, very clever. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to activate Niall to put his abilities onto this Master Craftsman. Nice. Wow. That will trigger Synergy, which will gain me two more gold. Crazy. I will then play a Triumphant Banner. Insane. That will be my third card for the turn, which right. will trigger Inspiration. Inspiration so is now So I'm unlocked. going to go jaunt through my deck for something real neat i don't want to even know what else he's his routine ability is also unlocked by the way so you can revamp stuff and it would be this guy can turn his sword into a mithril sword now i'm gonna grab a farming sickle nice mm -hmm, mm -hmm. shuffle i will take my free draw now don't forget oh, your pardon? you have a revamp i do um i guess i can use that on the short sword no i'll use it on the triumphant banner cool that's just going to give it one more uh one more hit health, point yeah. right one more health last thing i'm doing is mufari's quarry is going to attack the black Mora powder <laughs> brilliant darn um, very well played the next thing i'm going to do yes i'm doing one more thing this royal treasurer is going to attack this obnoxious name caller very smart and that is my turn. Brilliant. Okay, get my gold for turn. I'll use my free draw. All right. Despite your cleverness, I may still be able to edge it out. So first of all, oh boy, I'm gonna play Mauricio, the gloomy poet. Whoa. 
So Ooh. while Ava wants denizens to stick around and face their opposition and remain optimistic no matter what, Mauricio is inspired when denizens leave play. In other words, when they give in to their despair. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to use the supportive friends ability so that the next time I score points, I scored that many plus two instead. And then uh -oh. I'm going to have the alluring seductress run itself into this invincible Mufari's quarry token. That's unfortunate. She's going to be removed in the process and I'm going to score four points. Then I'm Ooh. going to have this supportive friends run into Mufari's quarry token, Zoinks. removing herself in the process and scoring myself two points. And then I'm going to play a denizen card, Zealous Protester, and then I'm going to play this heart oh. on my Zealous Protester, Win. reducing anyway. its health to zero, and he forcing him to lead play, either way, and folks. scoring two points. Holy cow. GG's, guys. What? Good game. Man. It's funny, because it's this, my, it felt like uh, last time I had a really runaway hit with this uh, deck, but you've shown me that there's... There's a, there's a lot to this game. I don't understand how people could not want to play Meander. This game is this game is good. Too many Wonderful. combos. Wonderful. I don't even think my deck is bad. Oh, like, it's not, not at even all. like. A, not at all, yeah. Are you frustrated right now? It's like no, not even. Like it's just a matter of like okay, now I have to figure out, and now I know what I have to hold on. Zach, I feel like you had such a commanding position, and had I not been sandbagging that Mauricio the entire game. I think that would have been the, the game-changing play because um, I don't have that yeah. many ways to return Ava back to my deck. I have a luxurious cottage hiding out in my deck, which can dismiss her, but the chances of me drawing that is basically 1 in 35 or whatever, right? However many cards are left. So with all the point scoring that you had set up, you were going to be scoring 8 points at least every turn. Uh, and also essentially making the Mufari's quarry undefeatable with the refuse defeat effect uh, and wisely getting rid of the one thing that could stop it which was the black mora powder uh, i think the game was absolutely swinging into your favor what's interesting too is i feel like i generated the most value out of anybody that game i was doing play after play thing after thing but it didn't lead up to a lot of points that game i scored four points despite everything i did right so niles goodie bag unfortunately didn't quite get there but he tried his best yeah i was doing i mean hey he was doing good work on me all right well that'll do it for our episode of champions of meandir gameplay today's game was very very interesting i hope to you the viewer at home you had fun as well and see you in the next episode